here I am at Woody Bay and I'm going to be talking to John Payne about the Man in Wardle projects run by the 762 Club. Hello John. Hello Trevor. Uh, well, as, uh, as you say, here we are at Woody Bay in the autumn of 2021. So as an update for the 762 Club, uh, many, many viewers will have seen the work we did when we launched uh, Lynn into operation and she's been overall very successfully operating here at the Linton and Artsville Railway for the last few years, notwithstanding a short delay uh, whilst the world went into lockdown with the pandemic. Um, in parallel to that, we've launched our project to manufacture two new Manning Wardles, uh, that's Yo and X. Um, and despite the fact we haven't been able to do much physically, we have been raising money in the background. So I'm very pleased to report that a number of members and subscribers have continued to support the 762 Club and we've built up a relatively healthy cash balance to be able to spend on, on new items. Um, one new item that we did go to place an order just before the first lockdown was for the cylinders for the locomotives. That's obviously been delayed because of Covid and suppliers shutting down, um, but we're pleased to report that we've had the first trial cylinder produced for us, uh, and that's now gone to the Welsh Highland Railway for them to look at because the original cylinder that was made was from the patterns from the locomotive lid, which operates on the Fastiniog and Welsh Highland line. Um, we modified the, the pattern that was used for the original castings for lid, and uh, as I say, we've now got our first fully functional, well, sorry, first fully produced uh, casting, which has gone up to, uh, to the Welsh Highland to be approved. Now that they've approved that, we've placed the order uh, and paid for the remaining castings for all four Manning Wardle locos, that's both Yo and X, and also Tor and Lou. When they're all produced, half of them will go into store, the other, the other half we will use for the two locomotives that we are in the process of uh, reconstructing. We've also got quotes out with many different component suppliers for things like wheels uh, and parts of the motion, and certainly over the next 12 months we anticipate a healthy supply of new components being made so when we're back here again, hopefully in, uh, in the autumn of 2022, we'll have a number of items to show from the motion for both, both locomotives. And at that point, we'll probably start planning to put them both into construction uh, and due for completion, hopefully in the not too distant future, notwithstanding any future pandemic uh, issues that may occur. So all good and we continue doing what we do best. So people can still invest money like they did with Lynn that's right. Yes, absolutely right, Trevor. Uh, we've still got memberships open for anybody who wants to join. You can support either Yo as a locomotive on its own uh, or X as a locomotive on its own, or indeed you can join uh, and subscribe for both locomotives. And we have another, a number of members who do that. Uh, in addition, we will publish our sponsorship list just before Christmas. So again, as we did, which was highly successful for Lynn, gives the opportunity for individual donors to sponsor specific components on each locomotive um, and uh, obviously get their name recorded on our website as a, on our Roll of Honour. So we look forward to launching that just before Christmas. All very interesting, John, and I thank you for your time and, and effort in doing this. And uh, I suppose I'll have to spend more money, which I do not mind doing. Thank you very much indeed. Always a pleasure, Trevor.